Good news from Capitol Hill. Tomorrow morning, the House Veterans Affairs Committee is going to hold its first legislative hearing to discuss the PAWS Act. Well, that stands for Puppies Assisting Wounded Service Members. More than 190 members of Congress from both parties have signed on to support it. If the bill becomes law, veterans with PTSD will be eligible to get service dogs free of charge starting next year. Andrea McCarran shows us how training these dogs has become a personal mission for one combat veteran. So many veterans have told us that the United States does a great job of turning men and women into war fighters, but they say what our country hasn't done well is transforming them back into civilians. We made sure nobody was left behind over there, so they're not going to be left behind here. Veterans with PTSD may be home. I cry all the time. But their minds are still at war. Just because it, we made it home, this fight's not over. PTSD can take years to diagnose, years to surface. For Jason, it happened in a restaurant with his wife. A waitress came up behind me. All she did was ask for my drink order. Um, freaked me out, didn't know she was there. Flipped the table over, went underneath of it. I don't remember anything else. My wife took me home. This is the emerging face of hope. When I got Axel in 2012, I was on 32 different medications. 12 of them were narcotics. I was severely addicted. I was abusing them. Um, I was also drinking heavily. Axel saved Jason's life. Today, the Marine Corps veteran only needs two medications, and neither is a narcotic. Yes. Watch closely as trainer Michelle Armenta demonstrates how Axel can interrupt a panic attack for a veteran with PTSD. Yes. It's a battle buddy. You know, they're there for you all the time. No judgment. The dogs can also stop violent nightmares and pick up dropped items like a wallet or cell phone. Thank you. We may be in a hole that we get ourselves into. The dog's not there to pull us out. He's there to walk with us on our way out. I feel that it's my responsibility and our responsibility to try to fix this problem. And until it does, I'm not going to stop. I will do this until I can't walk anymore. By the time this hour is over, another veteran will have committed suicide. So it's still happening. That's the pain that won't go away. If there is one takeaway from this story, it's this. Help is available. Either pick up the phone, look on the internet, send an IM. I mean, I don't give a darn if you send up a carrier pigeon or a smoke signal, but all you have to do is reach out and we'll help you. Jason and two fellow veterans founded Leashes of Valor, a service dog organization in Fredericksburg, Virginia. We've got a link on our website, WSA9.com. And if you're moved by our story and want to reach out to members of the House Veterans Affairs Committee to tell them how you feel about service dogs for veterans with PTSD, well, we've got links for you right now on our WSA9 mobile app and on our website.